I'm going to attempt a speed test on this Ender 5 Plus. Kind of got some inspiration from those Voron V0s. Now, I'm not aiming for that crazy 1000 millimeters per second, but I want to see how far I can push this thing before things start to go bad. We got the first layer going down right now. The initial layer speed is 20 millimeters per second. After we get, uh, I forget how many layers up, but it'll be pretty obvious once it starts going at 100. I believe it's going at 100 millimeters per second now. And I don't think this is going to be a problem for this machine at this speed. All right, clearly 100 millimeters per second is not a problem for this machine. Let's up the ante here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to raise the temperature 10 degrees so that we can increase the theoretical flow rate. And we're going to wait for that to get up to temperature. Should only take a few seconds. And then we're going to run the machine. Let's start out with 150% speed. Well, it doesn't sound like it's missing any steps. The extruder over here will be pretty easy to hear if there's any sort of uh, clicking due to flow rate not being adequate for the speed. Looking at those layers, I don't immediately see anything that I would write off as suspicious in terms of its ability to do what it needs to do. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and raise this thing up to 200% speed. Okay, now this is 200 millimeters per second based off of the G-code that was written for this. The system doesn't seem to have a problem moving at this speed. So as I was thinking, uh, it looks like there is in fact a limit that we can change. We go to configuration, advanced velocity, acceleration, XYZ, no, actually, it would have been, yeah, velocity, I'm sorry, I accidentally clicked acceleration. We're at 200 on the X and Y, so clearly there's a limit, but let's see if we can change that. We're going to go 250 on the X, see if it lets us. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it lets us know. Whoo boy. Okay. So, if that's the case, then let's go back to configuration, advanced velocity, Y max, we'll go to 250. Ooh, ooh, I don't think it likes it. Ooh, <laughs> that might be a little too much. Oh, what is that noise? Well, we're we're definitely lifting over here, guys. Oh boy. The X doesn't have a problem. It's just the Y. And even then, it seems to be I think it's because this part is lifted. And that's the scraping of the nozzle going down. But are we melting sufficiently for this? It looks like we are. You know, before this thing completely dislodges itself, let's go for broke. Let's go for broke. Configuration, advanced, velocity, 
Let's bring it up to, oh, not, not that high. This, this stock encoder for the Ender 3 that I'm using is really bad. That's 300. And we're at 300% on the G-code. That's 300 millimeters per second. Oof. The system doesn't like it, guys. The system's system's getting mad. It's getting angry. Oi! Oi, she's getting angry. She's starting to squeal at me. The print it's starting to warp. Oh, you can see it right there. It's it's having problems. It can't sustain itself. The plastic is not cooling fast enough. Oh no. The plastic's going down. It's remaining hot too long and it's warping. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I guess they figured 200 millimeters per second on the firmware would be good enough for this. And it realistically is. But oh baby, we need to put some linear rails on this thing. We need to add some better cooling to this thing. Because I have a feeling we can push this so much faster. We gotta get some bell tensioners, some fiberglass reinforced uh, gates, GT2 power grip belts. Oh buddy. This is getting wild, but we have not had extrusion issues. Oh, oh, I called it too soon. We definitely got extrusion issues. Oh, boy. That might be actually less to do with extrusion and more to do with the whole thing just collapsing in on itself because it's too hot. It can't cool down fast enough. Oh, boy. Things are getting wild.